Newly discovered documents tell a long forgotten story about American history. Here's Vladimir Dutier. Wow, how old is this? This is 1895. Margaret Gerito is the archivist at Philadelphia's Bethel AME Church, where stored away in boxes are historical gems. This is the only child I have and I much desire to find him. They're called information wanted ads. They were written by newly freed slaves looking for lost family members who were sold or ran away. I wasn't familiar with them at all. You I weren't? didn't even know they were in there. How did that make you feel when you discovered that? I said, oh hell, I just said to myself, oh my God, this is just a hidden treasure. Villanova University history professor Judy Geisberg came looking for them as part of a research project last August. I think there are so few opportunities for us to hear enslaved people describe their lives. You know, every one of these ads tells a life story. In one, a daughter writes, my mother was sold from me when I could but crawl. A sister says her brothers escaped by Underground Railroad. About his son, a father says, when about 14, he was sold and his daughter, Leah, was sold at the same time. They've been mm -hmm. trying to, in their minds, remember what their daughter looked like or their son looked like. Mm -hmm. And then at that moment, they wrote it all down in that short three or four lines. Mm -hmm. They've cataloged a 1,000 so far, from the archived microfilm of The Christian Recorder and five other newspapers. A few ads hint at success, like this one from 1880, which says, I have found Henry and Mary. We all belong to William Hightower. Tears came to my eyes when I read some of these, you know. It's just in, unimaginable. Both hope the ads fill in the historical hole after emancipation. I think they're really important for people to, you know, to understand how people survive an institution like slavery um, and then how they carry on afterward. Evidence that after freedom, family was never forgotten. Vladimir Jutin, CBS News, Philadelphia. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.